book haul is like medium-ish. There's seven books in it. Next month will not be like this because I have three major book orders coming my way. I don't even know why I sound guilty. I don't feel guilty. The first book I have to show you is really, really cool. It's called The Novel Cure. From Abandonment to Zestlessness, 751 books to cure what ails you. So this isn't your normal, like, I have a cold or I have the flu. This book is like, oh, I feel abandoned. Let me look up abandonment. And then it'll give you book recommendations. It'll also give you a paragraph summary of, you know, why that book would be good for that specific ailment. They have a lot of books for breaking up, you know, loneliness, uh, getting old, all that fun stuff. I'm really excited because this is something that I could just pick up and put down. It's not something that I necessarily have to put on my TBR. It'll just be like a nice little surprise where I could buy more books from because that's what I need. So pretty though, so pretty. And look at this. It's purple. I like the purple. Next book is another penguin book, and that is Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. This is a beautiful, beautiful edition of Lolita. I've been wanting to read it. A lot of people say that it's absolutely fantastic, and I've seen it on a lot of people's favorite classics list. It's supposed to be beautifully written, but really, really creepy. Uh, mainly creepy because it's about a man describing how beautiful a young girl is, you know, in a way that they shouldn't be describing a beautiful young girl. I'm very interested in seeing how this piece is rendered into a beautiful form of art. Via Literature. Another penguin book. I actually didn't realize that I had three penguin books. Fear of Flying by Erica Jong. I actually picked this one up on Valentine's Day at Target because it was beautiful and I was just like, this is nice. I enjoy this. I need more modern classics. Let's do it. It's written by a lady. I don't usually read books written by the ladies, so that's a plus. And it's just about love and sex and womanhood. And it's supposed to be really hilarious, but Catcher in the Rye hilarious, where it's that dry humor. And I enjoy me some J.D. Salinger-like humor. Next one is a classic that is not modern, and that would be Persuasion by Jane Austen. This is the Dover Thrift Edition. I really, really enjoy the Dover Thrift Editions of classics because I can dog ear it and highlight it and everything without feeling bad. Not to say that this isn't a really nice cover. For example, this is my other copy of Persuasion by Jane Austen. Do you see how gorgeous it is? I just love this color blue, and I love... Oh, just the pink inside of it. It's just, they're the most beautiful colors ever. This is such a phenomenal, phenomenal copy and it's so beautiful. Never in my life could I imagine dog earing it and highlighting it and underlining like I usually do in classics. So this is just my really pretty copy. I felt like actually reading it, you know, reading the book that's inside of it. So I decided I'd pick up a Dover Thrift because they're super, super cheap. I think I got it for like $2.50 on Amazon. So I can read that one, still have this one. Perfect. Life is great. Next three books are parts in a series. Surprise, surprise, it is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi, and Unite Me by Tahara Mafi. I did not get Ignite Me because it is not in paperback yet. However, I've read all of the three books, the three main books on my Kindle already. I have not read Unite Me yet. We'll be doing that soon, and after that, I will be doing a series review. And that's it! That is my book haul for February. Like I said, March is going to be much, much longer, so I don't know if I'm going to break that into two parts. But I hope you guys have bought nice books this month. I will see you soon. Bye!